for joining me again. And I thought I'd do a sea scape today. So I'm going to start off giving the paper just clear water all the way over just to lubricate it and to make sure that it doesn't uh, crinkle all over the place. It'll just stretch evenly. And then I'm just going to go raw sienna. Bit of ultramarine. Get that in from the left. And then just let it mix on the paper. Let it do its own thing. And just play it by ear. Sticking it down to the bottom. Then I'm going to go clean the brush. I'm going to go a bit of light red. Raw sienna. Soak that up at the bottom. And then a bit of, bit of light red, ultramarine. The paint's grey now as well. all the way across just a little bit here and there and then I'm just going to use a just a clean damp brush just going to soak up that pool of water that's at the bottom of the paper you like little white well they were going to be white didn't quite clean the brush strong enough, enough. could use a tissue for this I'm just taking some of the uh, little white clouds out with a clean damp brush and then what I'll do back into a bit of light red a bit of raw sienna just add a bit of colour there to these clouds a bit of ultramarine darken it up a little bit a bit of Payne's grey maybe a laser in crimson as well Just see how it's going. If I'm not overly keen on it, I might re wet it and do little bits and sort of do a little bit more. Just see how it goes, really. So, a bit of red, blue, it's dark underneath there. It's going to be like the, the C down the bottom. And just little clouds. It's going to be a very low horizon line, this one is. Very low. Almost down to the bottom of the paper. So these are meant to be just little, just light little clouds all the way down. I'll do. Paper has stretched a little bit, so I'm just going to pull it tight against this piece of plywood just so that it's flat against the wood, and then I can start again. Now, the horizon, we're right down the bottom, so I'm just going to go a bit of light red, ultramarine, a bit more water. I think I want that to be a bit drier actually. with the brush with the um, hair dryer rather I'm just going to dip the tips into the water just to really loosen this paint up a bit and I'm just taking all those sky colours and just making a dark mix and this will be the distance land across the water basically the 
across there like that. That's just started over here. I want to keep this quite, quite a narrow, narrow band of land. And it'll look, look on a much, make it look a much grander scale. sort of opening there out to the out to the sea. I'll do this. I'll just darken this a bit more. Using when the paint gets a bit dry, all the hairs are separated. I'm just dipping the dipping just the very corner of the brush into the water, and then that will transfer itself across the whole width of the brush, creating a nice sharp edge. I'll just do these sort of dark areas. That a quick draw. over it again just to make it darker so I'm make it a little more dramatic so I'm just going around the uh, around the pad just creating a dark mix just a bit of red blue pain's grey and then I'm just gonna just go over this again basically see as long as you get this a little bit darker More water, just dip the very corner of the brush into the water. Same on the other side. I'll just make this a bit bigger, a bit more dramatic, something like that. some rocks with a, with a card, do a bit of scraping. So I'm just going to switch to the card and then just try and make this look like a Trying to put them all in without overdoing it. I don't know if I'll. Well, I can just paint. I can just paint straight over what I what I don't like. If I feel as if I've overdone it. There's a whole mass of rocks there, just scraped in. Um, maybe a few on this side as well. What I'm doing, I'm switching hands. I'm doing this one left-handed. Reason being. Imagine that the, the light's meant to be here, so as it's coming down, it's catching catching the right hand side and you've got the shadows on the left. So if it's coming from there, it's, this one side is catching the left with the shadows on the right. Oh God, 
I think what I need next is I just need like a little yacht or something just to give it some like a focal point. So I just want to make sure that bit's dry. Oh, I've worried so much about the rest of it. Um, so I'm just going to switch to me rigger brush. And I just want it just dip in the water. I just want it damp. I don't want it too wet. And then I'm just going to take my tissue in my other hand and I'm just going to dab out the shape of the sail. Now obviously this, because uh, it's almost black background, it should stand out quite, quite nicely. It should get a nice contrast. So I'm just gonna try and loosen the paint. Take out like a triangular sail shape. And then just dab it with a tissue. Just need to re-wet this, get it a bit Wetter, so I can take the paint off a bit easier. Alternatively, you could just use white gouache and do it that way. there. So it's just like a little boat on the horizon. I think all I need is one, two, three little birds in the sky and then finally just pop my name in the corner. Um, oh, I wish to put it in the space around it. Uh, So let's see what it looks like with a mount on it. So here's our uh, rocky coastline with a mount on. So if we go in and have a closer look at it. So after our initial raw sienna and then ultramarine, this big blue area, the big, big cloud, predominantly it was sort of ultramarine, light red, Payne's grey mixes, also some big dollops of raw sienna in here as well just to try and uh, change it up a little bit. And then once the sky was in, I made sure it was dry because I wanted a sharp edge on this head headland. Um, and you can only do that if the paper was dry, otherwise it would have uh, gone a bit blurry. But to try and get this this um, foreground, and uh, well, and this distant land as well dark, I put it in twice. So I put the first wash in, which is sort of dry. You can just see how lighter it was there. And then you put the second one in, the second line, you can see how it goes in darker. It also gives you this 3D effect. The uh, the darker tone looks looks closer than the uh, the distant further land there, which is lighter in tone. So I'll try to create, create the impression of um, the cliffs and rocks there. Plenty of scraping with the um, corner of the plastic card. Try to create the effect of the sort of light coming from here, sort of eating it on the left hand side, and then so you've got your shadows on the right. And then, also, so if you can imagine that's going on that side, but then the light's coming from this side, so it needs to hit these rocks on the right hand side, and you've got your shadows on the left. That's why I did these ones left handed to try and get that effect. And then, just as a little focal point, I've just took out this little triangular shape to create the impression of a yacht there in the distance. 
just wetted it with the rigger brush and then took it out, took the paint off with a tissue. And finally our little birds there flying, flying amongst the clouds. So that's it for today, um, I hope you like that. Thanks for watching, keep practicing, hit the subscribe button to be notified of all new videos. You can help me by liking, sharing, commenting below. Um, so keep practicing and I'll see you again soon.